Hey, in this video, I will show you how to use Leap Motion in Unreal Engine 5. This will include four parts. First, we build the arm IK, so hand and elbow tracking. Second, we get the fingers working properly. After that, we add correctives so we don't create nightmare fuel. And lastly, I'll talk about some expandability. You will need the Ultraleap plugin, so get that from the Unreal Marketplace. You also need the Ultraleap software, so download that as well. I will go through this pretty fast, so just pause when you need to build the blueprints yourself. Now let's get started. In this example, I'm using the VRM rig, so if you're using that as well, the value should be the same. If you use another skeleton, you might need to tweak some numbers later. First, create an actor or character for your skeletal mesh and open that. In there, add the leap component so we can access all the tracking data. Next, click on that component and on the right, add the on leap tracking data event. From there, grab the frame hands array, use it for each loop and add a switch on e hand type so we can distinguish between left and right hand data. From there, break the palm data and promote the position vector to the left and right hand vectors. Next, I'm adding some arrows, which will help the IK to put the elbows in the right place. So I parent them to the spine and put them roughly where the elbows should be when moving your arms. We can adjust the placement later if we get weird behavior. This should be everything we need to do in the character blueprint. Now let's create an animation blueprint for your character. First, make sure to go into the class settings and reparent it to body state anim instance. This will include the ultra leap functionality we need. After that, go into the event graph and create a reference to your character blueprint in event begin play. So use get owning actor, cast the class, promote that as a variable so we can access that in a second. Now let's grab the hand locations on update animation. So use the reference you just created, switch it to a validated get and grab the locations for your left and right hand that we created in the character blueprint. Now there's the tricky part. Because Leap and Unreal are using different coordinate systems, we need to do some math here. I'm using the desktop mode in Leap, so if you're using a different one, you need to convert it differently, but I'll show you how it's done generally. First, I split the vectors so I can swap out the axis like I did here. Then I'm adding an offset to Y, so the hands are moved in front of the body. This is also where you can generally add an offset to your hands location. Lastly, I rotate the vector so it always sits in front of the hips. So grabbing the hip location from the model here, else the hands will stay in one place if you turn your body around. After these conversions, I save the values as new variables, which we can use in the anim graph later. I also grab the elbow locations of the arrow components we added earlier and save them as variables as well. This is everything we need to do in the event graph. So now let's switch to the anim graph to see how it's looking right now. We're using two bone IK nodes for each hand, so grab those and add the vectors of your hands and elbows we just created and add them to the effector and join target location and also make sure both spaces are set to world space. If we now hit play, you can see the hands and elbows are kinda in the right spot, but everything is twisted and the fingers are not working. So let's work on the fingers next. For this we added the defaults on the bottom right. So switch this to edit defaults instead of edit preview Scroll down until you see this section called BS Anim Instance Auto Scaling and turn off Scale Model to Tracking Data and turn on Ignore Risk Translation. Next in BS Anim Instance add one Map Bone List and turn off Should Deform Mesh. In there you should see a section called Bone Map where you need to add all the bones for your left arm starting from the forearm and ending at the fingertips. So select each bone from the leap rig and map it to the according bone of your character's skeleton. Make sure you select the bones for actually driving the character and not the twist bones. If your character has metacarpal bones, you can add them as well. If not, you don't need to use them at all. After you map this for your left arm, add a second bone list and do the same thing for your right arm. The only difference being you need to change the pre-base rotation here until the fingers bend the right way. For me, it's 180 degrees on the z-axis. After that, we can add the Ultra Leap Modify Map Bones node and put it in front of our IK nodes. If you now hit Begin Play, the Arm IK should work and your fingers should bend the right way as well. Now for the third step, let's add some Transform Bone nodes and set the rotation mode to Add to Existing Component Space for your forearm and hands, as well as Add to Existing Bone Space for your thumbs. So copy and paste until you have the nodes for each of those bones, select them in the Bone to Modify dropdown and put those nodes between Ultra Leap and the IK nodes in this order. After that, you need to add rotations to different axes depending on your rig. For my VRM example here, it's these values. 
if you now hit begin play, everything should just work. If something is looking like it's coming out of an HP Lovecraft novel, you need to adjust rotations either here for your hand locations, here for fingers, and in here for hand and arm rotations. This is the basic setup done. Now for the last step, you can add different modes for different leap positions, add resting positions with a state machine, so you don't look like this if the leap controller can't see your hands. But that's maybe something for a different video. Let me know in the comments. Bye!